video i am going to share how to create a mono layer for molybladenum disulfide so it's a part of making heterostructures of graphene and molybladenum disulfide so let me just make the uh, mono layer of molybladenum disulfide so let me just have this so first we have to again we have to delete bond we have to drag file bonds we can go and then we can always delete it apply very good now because we want to create a mono layer so we have to just delete these atom and so please ignore other voices because i don't have control over this and then we can go to object to further check whether we have all relevant okay so it's they are not actually equal so we can just now we can just save it as in uh, xyz or first we have to just save bulk for molybladenum i am o s e2 bulk we can save so if you are not saving it in xyz coordinate it will save it as a whole structure now again now we have to save it as a mono layer uh it's a mono layer so i will just write mono layer mono layer okay mono i can just use na okay so molybladenum disulfide in cartesian coordinates okay then we have to just export data in xyz coordinates and uh, yes it's a mono layer so i will just write mono uh, good no no i will just write now we don't want to save hidden atom so let's not save it go to this mono layer folder for file xyz coordinates copy these atoms control c paste it into your mono layer file and just paste it control v now just delete this molybladenum you have to change the number also please and uh, remember this you have to change it that's why it was 1 if i correctly remember and it was 2 2 just save it yes and drag it it is your mono layer you can also compare it with your bulk system if you want to compare your bulk system will contain a bi layer let's compare it with bulk and further you can visualize it how i have already told by boundary method you have to go to mono layer and just go to boundary option and extend it let's go to boundary option and i will just type minus 2 and minus 2 just i mostly i type minus 2 just okay so okay so our mono layer is created so let me just remind you it's a paid course which i have already which i learned so if you are willing to pay to someone you are most welcome but i am sharing it for free so i can help all the researchers and i hope you like my videos and please like and subscribe to my channel thank you very much